Look, over there. We can take this way back to the camp. I can help with the vines. Now embed your blades into the glowing vines and light it. Your brother seemed open to your return. Oh, I'm sure he'd love nothing more than for everything to go back to how it was. Leaving the responsibilities of leadership to me. Learn to use what you have. <clears throat> it's not as though I want to be angry with Freyr. He's my brother. He was the most important person in the world to me for half my life. No! These plants are the same as those we saw earlier. Frost should make quick work of their poison.
Watch out, those are wisps. Powerful manifestations of runic magic. <laughs> I ever think of this place as home again after all that's happened we don't have the equipment for this and Hadi are in Vanaheim? We learned the giants rescued them from Odin and brought them here. And look. The sunlight wakes the sleeping birds. See how they stretch to welcome the sun? Beautiful, no? A far cry from the sheets of Midgard snow I've grown accustomed to. The eastern migration. It's just as I remember it. At least the whole realm hasn't fallen to predators and occupiers. I guess there's still something to be fought for here. Something to defend even after so much damage has been done. Maybe that goes for Freyr, too. Kratos, I see something. can break through their shields. They're defenseless now. Behind you! <laughs> 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 
So much has happened since I last saw Freyr. I'm not even sure where to begin. What do you want from him? An apology would be a start. I want to forgive him. I'd like to think he's changed. He's all I have left now. Did you ever apologize to Deimos? It is difficult to seek forgiveness when you feel unworthy. Now, how to get across? My sigil arrow should be able to carry the fire across the river to reach the bramble. Hmph! <laughs> 
powerful, even for the unworthy. My wife, Faye, taught me that. Hmm. Well, be glad you have a spouse to remember fondly.
Over here. All my former spouse taught me was that there's no limit to the depth to which a soul can sink into darkness. Tricked me into marriage to spare my home and took my home just the same. Scattered my people to the wind. Maybe it's time somebody drew the line. Maybe it's time someone makes Groa's prophecy come true. I will not wish for war, Freya. War is a terrible thing, Kratos. But some things are even worse. You know, if Atreus rushes to Ragnarok, you may not be able to stop him. I will. And if you fail? I have prepared him to survive without me, if he must. Watch for the plants. They like me, but strangers, not so much. I see that. You won't be able to damage it without destroying the mother. It's a large, bulbous thing. You can't miss it. So what's next for you, if not preparing for war? I do not know, but I will take no chances with Atreus. Well, you may want to think fast, unless you want someone to make that choice for you. Ready? As I ever will be. Noah. It really is you. <laughs> You've returned to us at last. Yes. Uh, let's celebrate. You reclaim the throne, we'll rebuild, me and you against the world. Huh? Just like the old days. I'm... not staying. I don't understand. You're here. Maybe together we can take back what's ours. I only just got back what's mine. I still have work to do. <sighs> You've seen what's left of the realm, right? Do we really mean that little to you? You question my loyalty? Vanaheim turned its back on me. Oh, you still can't let go of that old fight. It was my duty to save as many of our people as possible. My responsibility. One you didn't take seriously then, and from the looks of it, one you don't now. You think this is a game to me? Yeah. We lost everything to that maniac you called husband. The man's family set me on fire. How did you expect me to react? Like my brother. Like the boy that used to have my back no matter what. And who I always supported no matter how selfish his choices. I expected you to come and find me. That no matter how hurt or angry, you wouldn't abandon me when I needed you the most. Freya, please. I... I thought you were dead. I've had to live lifetimes with those last awful words I said to you. 
have any idea what that's like. Knowing that your own selfishness hurt the person that you cared about the most. Abandon you. Oh, Freya. I mourned you. Missed you so much. And I, you, Avery. But I won't bind myself to another realm when I finally have my freedom. I'll send help, though. And I will come back. I promise. This hasn't been your home for a long time, has it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, do what you gotta do. All right, all right, that's enough. Ain't y'all got nothing better to do than gawking at family sorting squabbles? Come on, you two. Not you. Got a few things to square with y'all. First is you collecting your spare heads. Second is that sigil magic I smell on your bow. Reckon that's an idea I'll steal. How's about I set you up with some sonic mojo? Call it a trade. Very well. Third of all, if and you ain't staying here, bears mentioning that Sindri and I find ourselves running a flop house for unemployed gods. If you're done freezing your backside off in Midgard, Maybe come back with Beardo there. Check up on your old pal, Tear. That's kind of you, Brock. I may do just that. Well, all right, then. I'll meet y'all back at the house. Lesson you want me to fix anything up first. Well, brother, care to meet our new allies? Or shall we depart? Excuse me, can y'all stop and help a lady out, please? Don't hurry on my account. No refunds. What is it? Yeah, I spent a lot of time tinkering up and down the river delta. Once Owen's army came to town, I lit out of there faster than a tassel worm with its bottom ablaze. So frazzled, I accidentally left behind a few irreplaceables. What irreplaceables? Well, just one, really. An orb. I'd be mighty grateful if you would find it. What is it? And if you come across any of my old, beautifully rusted armor pieces, I'll use the scrap to whip up something specially suited just for you. What is the orb? Just bring it back here and you'll make me happy as a sunbeam. Oh, and don't forget to keep an eye out for my old armor. I'll fix it up for you. Free charge. Mm. What sort of orb do you imagine we're looking for, brother? I do not know.
Should we ask him? Don't be rude. What's rude about asking for help? Big Vir, my love. Focus on your work. You need to weave those tighter. Your alliance is unusual. I, I think what Kratos is trying to say is, he's never seen a Light Elf and Dark Elf work together. It's a welcome sight. Hopefully one day, a common one. Mimir tells me you're something of an adventurer. Should you ever find your way to the Forbidden Sands and Alfheim? Contested territory. Past the Barrens. There are rumors of a sanctum, and artifacts our elders don't want us to see. Anything that sheds light on our suppressed history would benefit all of Alfheim. Uncovering secret history? Sounds like my kind of adventure. Knowledge of the Elves' common ancestry is what brought us together. Stories of Alfheim before the division of light and dark it's very taboo. Didn't stop you from spreading word of it. Which is how you ended up in prison. Where she and I met. As enemies, naturally, but escaped as friends. More than friends. You can stop talking. Okay. <clears throat> Good luck out there. If I may ask, do you miss all time? You mean... when you're near it. And away from it, you're only biding time until you can drink again from the light. Then again, the light does not make good food. <laughs> I remember where to look for a gateway. Follow me. Well, you two seem to be getting on since completing your mission. Dare I hope this alliance has some staying power after all? It seems to me we share a common enemy. Kratos, you may not accept that Ragnarok is inevitable, but you're smart enough to know Odin is a threat. Whatever comes next, our best chance of surviving it is to work together. Do you agree? I do. Then as to Brock's offer, you can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? No further temptations towards terrible vengeance? Not against you. Either of you. You have my word.
This lock is different from others you might know. You'll need an enchantment on your chisel to use it. Bruna. Go ahead. Carve the letter. Suna. It's an incantation. I'll speak it. Suna. Lovely. Working together is already opening doors for us. Uh, is he always making puns like that? We're blocked by more vines. Remember what to do? There's a fallen log in the river. It has something on it I don't recognize. Tears really alive? Aye. Not exactly ship shape. He sleeps in a broom closet now. But he's adjusting. How did you find him? Largely that's down to Atreus having figured out how to access the prophecies giants reserved for their own kind. We only learned of it ourselves after Thor and Odin came calling. To your home? Is it still standing? Barely. But all the violence was seemingly just a distraction to let Odin have a private word with Atreus. Odin was alone with your son? Did he tell you what they spoke of? Yes. He said that Odin invited him to Asgard to help him find his answers. The answers he's rushing into fate in search of. That's troubling. If you're ready to talk to him, the Mystic Gateway is ahead. If not, I have some unfinished business up this river I could use your help with. Or we can follow up on that elven sanctum out in Alfheim's desert. Hmm. If you want to continue exploring, we'll need to remove that log in the river. This. The crest of Skirnir. Never quite as smart as he thought. What is this? I don't know. But giants definitely crafted it. There's two wolves represented here. Perhaps a connection to our friends in the sky. A mystery for another time. Good. We can explore the river now. And hopefully right some old wrongs.
What is your unfinished business? I left something behind, near the falls. Your wedding site? Now why do you want to be going back there? To be free of the bonds of my marriage. And to ask her. I think you severed that a long time ago. Not completely. Not enough. Guide us. My people settled this river many ages ago. Thousands traveled it on pilgrimage to the Shrine of Worship. But then the Aesir came. This is all that's left. Reavers. Of course. What do you need? Only she can cure my sickness. Mangold, Meyer, and Poe. We must help her. She demands a cure. She is dead. She is trapped here, ignorant of her own death. If we bring her what she needs, she'll move on. You are certain? I'm not going to do nothing. She needs Mangold, Meyer, and Palm. We should find some. What did you find? As you asked. A nook and saw. Be wary. Must stop that Noken from singing! 
Sometimes I wonder if gods live too long. I once felt the same. Good. I need only one more ingredient for the cure. And then what? Then I fix things. Be useful. There must be a way to transfer the fire from one side to the other. like that word. Well, that did it.
That's everything I need. Let's return to the sick spirit. You would cure the dead. I promised I would take care of my people. You do not even remember her. Nor she you. And? Let us return to the spirit. I was curious about some of the flora we've encountered on our travels. And you me. will remain curious. It's not my job to teach you everything, Mamir. Look, I was just asking. And you have been told. Oh, you can say that again. We have collected the plants. Could this be? I feel my vitality returning to me. I feel... Freya, I am here. I knew you would return, even as the doubters cursed your name. Thank you. But it's time to rest. You have earned it. Thank you, my queen. I am tired indeed. Shall we continue? Yes. Something your brother said. The ace here burned him. Yes. We weren't yet at war, but relations with the Vanir and Aesir had been hostile for ages. Freyr got it into his head that he could improve relations by sharing our magic with them. Vanir techniques for bountiful harvests, enough to feed their whole population. Getting set on fire was the thanks he got. That's true. The Aesir were too undisciplined and impatient for the subtlety of Vanir spellcraft. So when things went wrong, they blamed their teacher. So Freyr was a guest when Odin burned him? Not exactly. Odin didn't mind locking Freyr up. He saw the potential of the magic and wanted to know more than how to improve crop yields. 
It was a mob of lesser Aesir, bitter and short-sighted, who tied him up and lit him aflame as punishment for the sabotage they imagined him guilty of. Obviously, he survived. In fact, he used the opportunity to escape. But such an affront made war inevitable. Freyr certainly wasn't the same after that. At least for a while. His carefree ways were replaced with nightmares, paranoia, and lashing out. It doesn't excuse what he said at my wedding, but I do understand where his anger came from. You know, I would have beaten you. What? Earlier. If Atreus hadn't been there. Mm. Perhaps. We could go again. Find out for certain. I would rather not. I'll bet you wouldn't. And how is it you two know each other? Now, I can't be devoted during guild business. You gotta respect the secret to love and all. I'm sorry? Let's just say Brock and I have long enjoyed certain common interests. That's right. Like getting us into trouble. And getting you back out of it again. What? <laughs> That's only mostly. Okay, so does that answer your question? Close enough, I suppose. So, bro, if Lunda can step between realms to travel about like you, I presume it must be the guild you know each other from. Maybe. Or maybe I just showed her a few tricks while we were tying one on. Or maybe I showed him. You don't know us, clever Pam. Lunda. Would you happen to know how your light and dark elf friends came to be involved? You mean Big Fair and Bela? Well, they were both imprisoned by one side or another, or maybe both. Escaped together, been on the run, and absolutely all over each other ever since. A dark and light elf fleeing their people together. Quite a risk. Being love's always a risk. That's what makes it fun. You could say the same about hot cheese. Linda, what do you know of Birga the Traveler? Not much. I oh, ain't the talking type, really. But from what I can glean, he walked the path of the Traveler for a time, then found out something that made him step off it. Hard. Any idea what he saw? No, I'm not sure, but I think he saw what was at the end of the path. And, uh, didn't care much for it. Finding out Odin was pulling their strings all along probably put a colossal kink in his codpiece. Hey, Freya! How you doing? I'm fine. On that, madam, we are agreed. What? Oh. Oh, uh... Thank you? Any time. Ha! <laughs> Lunda, you ain't changed one damn bit. Ha ha ha
Good thing you learned the runes, brother. My soul cannot rest until they are at rest. Gunhild. What is wrong? I died. And you will help me. Of course, Gunhild. But to what end? When the Einherjar came, we needed a way to fight back. I suggested. Say them. I understand your desperation, but... That was foolish. Clearly. I was lucky enough to be murdered before my mind could be corrupted, as theirs did. You must free them. Of course. Say their magic corrupts so ruthlessly. Those poor souls must be in agony. Then we shall give them death. Now, how do we get up there, I wonder? We can't. Not with those vines in the way. Ugh! <laughs> 
An armor piece bearing Lunda's brand. Shame it's broken. Nice bit of work otherwise. Then why leave it? You suspicious of her, brother? If the orb she seeks is important, she would... ...not have left it behind. Ah, uh, perhaps. Bridge supports look sturdier. We'll have to find a way to the other side to lower it. like that work. My friend's souls are still twisted, aren't they? Give them the freedom of death. So, what's it like, being back? Like I haven't come back at all. Everything's changed. I'm a stranger here. I know the feeling. Word appeared over there. See it? Mecking. We should be able to reach the wedding site now. Oh! <laughs> 
Nice work. Good fit. The closer we get, the more tightness grows in my chest. You're sure you want to continue? Confronting the past comes with a price. It must be done. I've lived with this pain far too long. If you can believe it. We were happy once. For a time, I foolishly believed the peace would last. Perhaps that was my mistake. All I wanted was to protect my family. There is no shame in that. I failed all the same.
Do you know why I left that night, Mimir? Only a hunch. He showed me who he really was. Odin asked me to cast a protection spell on him. The one I used on my son. But the way it drove our boy mad, I refused. He was furious. Throwing every object he could find, destroyed the room. There was only coldness after that. I tried to make it work, but... No one could have lived like that, Your Majesty. Anything illuminating? What's that?
Look, over there. Allow me. Reavers, of course. Watch out! It's a soul eater! It doesn't belong here! We must get rid of it! the objects I'm looking for are still here. Oh! 
the door is shut. If memory serves, we'll need to light both of those torches to open it. Learn anything? So much about that day I wish I could change. If only I'd seen the signs. What's it say, brother?
last of the Hewley family. One of the first families ripped apart by the war. My circlet's here. We must remove these creatures first! A symbol of commitment. After the ceremony, he had a new one made every week, each more beautiful than the last. He stopped when I refused to teach him the old magic. You know, my people used to send me gifts too, so I wouldn't forget home. But after the birth of my son, they stopped too. I can't read that from here. Let's head back and I can take a better look. I 
thought I'd feel peace by breaking it. But I feel nothing. Perhaps what you seek cannot be found in a circlet. You may be right. complete. It's missing a piece. This is a mystic fire. Its flames are short-lived. That's it. 